What is up guys? Got something special today. Who doesn't love buying cheap stuff on eBay knowing that it's gonna be high quality and not get you laughed at by your friends on the trip? Sometimes on eBay, you find a gem. We're gonna put this thing to the test though to find out, right? I got this little guy. Oh my God, it's not even that heavy, I'm just kidding. This is a skid plate all the way from this language right here, Turkish. This thing's from Turkey. So this was shipped to me from a guy on eBay, username Motos, makes aluminum skid plates. I don't know where they're made. They may be made in China, who knows? All I know is they come from Turkey and it's very good value. I think 220 something I paid for this, I'll let you know. And I'll also give you a link to the guy that sells these things. Let's take this thing out of the package and check it out. There's multiple pieces in there. Feel this bad boy open. Hey man, for sure don't break everything. Just saying. Okay, well wrapped. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Ooh, okay. Look at that, we got some stickers. Turkish stickers, that's fun. That's gonna be awesome. Bro, this is the best package thing I've ever gotten from eBay. Oh my, oh my, oh my. So this, my friends, is what we've started calling the Turkish basket. It basically cradles all your important and delicate bits that are on your bike, namely your exhaust. And if you ride the kind of stuff we ride, hard enduro stuff with rocks, you're gonna crush that exhaust. It happens all the time. So this is 0 0.16 inches thick. So what is that, about 1 eighth? I'll put the uh, math right here for you. Yep, there you go. So this stuff's pretty thick, not gonna lie. It looks to be about that same width everywhere on this thing. Man, this thing is really crafted nice. I'm pretty crunked up about it. I'm not gonna lie to you. If you do pick something like this up, one of the things that we've noticed is that some of these bolts may rattle out. I would really consider using red Loctite, at least blue Loctite, when fastening this thing together. Everybody I know thinks that red Loctite just is, never comes off, but that couldn't be further from the truth. It comes off all easy. When I get this mounted, I'm gonna show you a beautiful picture with this. Reach up here and grab this. Delicious Scalvini. It's a motocross pipe. Let's face it, folks, it's a works pipe, but it's so beautiful, I just had to have it. So let's make sure it fits in here. Oh yeah, we're golden, bro. I hate to cover this pipe up with this monstrosity, but whatever, it's gotta happen. Cause I don't wanna smash this thing in. Anyway, put that back for now. All right, uh, so this is the finished product. Once you put it all together here, this thing went together pretty well. This thing's pretty awesome. Now, remember you're threading steel into aluminum, red Loctite, blue Loctite. Again, I say red but uh, just put a little mustard on it, but not too much. You don't want to strip these uh, threads out. So there you go. I'm gonna put this thing on and we'll take a look at it. It's a beefy piece of shit here, dude. All right, folks, you're gonna see some problems here, right? This skid plate, skid plate's actually really good, but this is about, I'm gonna guess about 15, 20 hours after installing it and riding. Things starting to get beat up pretty good. Now that I am not taking anything away from the skid plate, which is really great, it's held up really well. But we've been riding some pretty brutal stuff. And I guess I just wanted to show you like how well this thing's held up. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, you see from these videos that yeah, you see the kind of stuff we ride in it, and it's, it's pretty brutal. Why am I missing a clutch cover? Well, right here, check this out. That's why. So this, has maybe bent slightly, or it needs adjusting. It just needs to be tightened up down here. I'm pretty happy. I'm definitely happy with this pipe guard. And like I said, great value for what you get. I mean, I destroyed my clutch cover, bashed the brake right through it. The pipe, the pipe protector, still in very good shape. So um, I'm digging it. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely consider subscribing. All the information about this pipe protector down in the description. Thanks for watching, guys.